Hey everybody, uh, first off, before we start this q and I just want to apologize for not having this out sooner. I haven't had time at all this week to do anything regarding my channel, whether it be, you know, the Q&A, the reviews, anything. I haven't worked on any of it at all throughout the week. I have been spending as much of my free time as possible uh, working on a slideshow video for my grandparents' 50th wedding anniversary, which just took place today, so, uh, or yesterday, Saturday. So finally, uh, you know, it's over and done with. It came out good. Everybody liked it. So um, now that that's out of the way, I can go back to uh, working on reviews and everything else regarding my channel, including this Q&A. So uh, we'll start off with this, and then I'll get back to the reviews after. So here we go. First question. Are you going to review Genesis games? Yes, I will be reviewing Genesis games at some point. I can't promise you when because I don't know. I I have the first the next few reviews planned as far I know exactly which ones I'm going to be doing next. Uh the next few and then after that who knows. I do know w which Genesis game will be my first one, but I don't know when it's going to be, but sometime before the end of this year it will happen. It'll I'll, I'll be moving on to Genesis and and other consoles. Do you record with emulators or the original consoles? Uh, I record with the emulators. A lot of the games, most of them, I I own on uh, the original console, which is one of the reasons why I know it well enough to do a full walkthrough on them. But the emulators are necessary for the recording process just because uh, when you're doing a walkthrough, if a lot of times I show video for something very specific that I'm talking about, Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. So, a lot of times when I record the uh, initial gameplay footage, I don't get some of these spots. So, I have to go back and get them. So, if I have save states for each level, for example, it's much easier to go back and get footage for something that lasts five seconds. If I were to do it using the actual cartridge... Uh, it would be a pain in the ass. It would take a long time. I probably wouldn't even be doing reviews anymore. How many consoles do you own? Uh, let's see. I, uh, I own officially a Nintendo, Atari 2600, Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, 32X I had at one point for some reason. And then uh, if you count handhelds, a Game Boy, Game Gear. I also have a GameCube. I had a Nintendo 64 that was handed down to me, but ended up being broken. So if you want to count that, it's 12. And then, you know, PC games, if you want to count that, 13. What is your favorite game of all time, whether it be classic or new? Uh, I want to say Mega Man 2. Are you going to review any current generation games? Uh, possibly. I don't want to make any promises I can't keep, but uh, I am not limiting myself to anything. I don't like to draw limits, so it's possible, but, um, you know, we'll see. What is your occupation? Well, right now I'm a temp office clerk at a boating navigational company, putting together spreadsheets and shit like that. What do you really look like? Um, you know, the cartoons that Hanu does for my Mega Man, uh, previews is a decent cartoon characterization of what I look like. I did post pictures of myself on my 1,000 subscribers special, but unfortunately that video got muted due to uh, having the Aqualung song in its entirety. YouTube muted the video, so it because it was useless, I just removed it. But uh, in case you really want to know, I'll post a few pictures. I did want to do this on a video, but I don't have a camera at the moment. Uh, at some point soon, I'll try to get one. Until then, you'll have to settle for this. What's your favorite system? Uh, you know, if I had to take one console to a desert island that I was going to be stuck at for the rest of my life, it would probably be the Nintendo. I mean, I know that's no big surprise. That's the bulk of what I do for my reviews and walkthroughs. Did you ever really want a game or game console as a kid and couldn't have it? If so, which ones? Uh, the Super Nintendo I didn't get until much later. 
during its heyday, I grew up with a Genesis. That was during the 16-bit era. That was the system that I had. Didn't only played it once in a while at like a friend's house or something. So uh, I ended up getting a Super Nintendo like seven or eight years later. Why do you want us to ask you questions? Lol. Um, I don't really want you to ask me anything. God damn it. Actually, I'm doing this because there are a lot of questions, like, uh, for example, some of the ones that I've already had, like, when are you going to do Genesis reviews, and and how do you record your walkthroughs, shit like that. Um, I get asked a lot of these questions a lot, so I'm doing this to answer some of these questions to everybody at once, rather than doing it individually. Plus, it's just, you know, something different to do. What do you think your best review walkthrough was? I'm not sure which one it was going looking at it now because none of them really stand out above the rest undoubtedly but um I'd say that um Mega Man the original Mega Man that I did was at the time when I really felt like I was getting somewhere because I had avoided Mega Man for a while because it's my favorite series, almost. At least on Nintendo, definitely. So, I felt like I could never do an objective review of it. And when I, you know, I finally just said, fuck it, and I did it. So, at that point, I felt like I had made a step up. So, that one has a, a special place for me. Do you have any video game reviewer that you are a fan of or like his or hers review Let's Plays? Uh, yeah. There are plenty. I mean, I would probably wouldn't be reviewing if there weren't others that I liked. Angry Video Game Nerd, not surprisingly, was my inspiration. He was the first uh, YouTube review that I had discovered, and then discovered a few others after that. Undercover Filmer was the second one, and uh, his Mickey Mouse Capade overview, level by level uh, view, was kind of the source inspiration for my walkthroughs. So... You know, if you really want to know who I like, or who I like to watch, just check out my subscription, and I don't hide that. Do you like the survival horror genre? Well, I wouldn't say that I have a huge list of games that I played in the survival horror genre, but I definitely enjoy playing games that, at least to some degree, scare the shit out of me. <laughs> uh, they don't really... I don't really get genuinely scared by games or movies, but... Ones that'll jump up and surprise you, that's cool, I enjoy that. And uh, having it in a game makes it even more intense because it's interactive and you're the person in the game. Stemming from this question, what's your favorite title and why? Uh, you know, it, even though it's technically not a masterpiece, the original Resident Evil definitely had the, uh, the grip on me in survival horror that no other game really could. The, I mean, the voice acting is terrible. That's just... goes without saying. The dialogue in any Resident Evil game has been is always not good. But the thing about the, the first Resident Evil is that it had that initial effect that couldn't be duplicated because it was something so innovative. What was the hardest game you've ever played? You know, off the top of my head, I'm just going to go with Dragon's Lair because it was... It's the most tedious, god-awful piece of shit of all time. Can you try Force? I don't know. I've never possessed all three pieces at the same time. Will you review Action 52? Um, you know, Action 52 has been done by just about everybody. But that doesn't stop me. So, <laughs> maybe. I uh, The only thing is, if I do Action 52, I'm going to do all 52 games, so... I'm going to have to be in a total state of insanity going into it and coming out of it. Do you use game guides to give the best information you can on games in your review, or is all the information you give purely from your own gaming experience? I try my best to give all the information that I can based on my gaming experience, but I do research sometimes to check for specifications like uh, enemy names, for example. Uh, and not that I include everything by the book or anything. And on top of that, uh, 
my walkthroughs don't have I don't put forth the notion that everything that I give as a strategy is the correct way to do it. You know, it's just, this is just my recommendation. So uh, for the most part, it's from my personal experience. But uh, every, I mean, sometimes I'll just find uh, a strategy through uh, the research of the game that just is tenfold better than what I had in store. So, you know, sometimes I'll, uh, I'll throw in some strategies that aren't fully mine. Do you own new gen consoles? I own a PS3 and I have access through my girlfriend to a Wii. So, um, technically one and a half, I guess. How old are you? As of right now, which is uh, August 16th, 2009, I am 26 and four months. Almost to the day.